Hey guys, I'm Bobby from Eurocode, and today I want to show you what we have been working on the last couple of weeks during the Redis Conf 2001 and our submission to, Red to Redis Hackathon. So yeah, me and my buddy Siad and, and Sylvia decided to create an information retrieval lab called Alexis. And in this video, I'll introduce you to Alexis, the, te the technicalities, and of course, demo the app. Um, you can find the code on our GitHub account. So let's, let's get into it. Um, as you can see, um, I have my code editor here open and um, the Alexis app as a workspace defined. The Alexis app consists of a client application front end and the back end application um, on the server. And but before we delve into this, let's start with the definition. So, what is Alexis? Um, <clears throat> Alexis is an information retrieval app that utilizes both Redis search and an AI model to find answers to user queries. Um, we first thought of doing it in Python because of the AI ecosystem in Python, but decided to go the full stack route and write everything in TypeScript. Um, fortunately for us, Redis AI uh, has, a, or Redis has a module called Redis AI that we leverage for in inference. So we don't have to uh, dip into Python in any of this, <clears throat> in any of this code here. So, before, but before we delve too much into the technology, let's start with the basics, how you can run the app. Um, so once you've checked out our code on GitHub, um, make sure that you have Docker installed and Node version 12. Um, we have a hard requirement for Node version 12 for now. Um, after you, after you, after you satisfy the requirements in the, in the root folder, you can run npm install, which installs the the root uh, dependencies, which is just an npm script. And now you can do npm run bootstrap. And npm run bootstrap will actually build the containers needed for this uh, application, um, install the front end dependencies and the back end dependencies. <clears throat> and then we are good to go. Um, so now that we have bootstrapped the application, we can just run npm start and it will run uh, both the Redis modules, the backend server and the front end and a worker query. Um, I'll, sh I'll show you later in this video, I'll show you the, the, the application uh, while, uh, while it's running. But for now, let's go back to, to the definition. So here in the readme, you can see what we have implemented. We have a user registration flow with login and, and, uh, and creating users. Um, it uses, the model uses Redis JSON. Uh, we also have PDF uploading uh, capabilities where we use uh, Redis streams and the consumer group for asynchronous processing of, of the uploaded PDF. And then of course we have the query endpoint um, which um, delivers the answers to, to, to user queries. Um, so let's go. So let's check out the server for now. So you can see here in the source directory, we have we have answering, which has uh, which has uh, the model in it. Um, we use the ONX model that we load into Redis AI during the du uh, during the boot of the server, and um, and it's also checked into GitLab, so you can play with you 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 can check out and play with this uh, model. Uh, we open sourced it. We have two versions of it, so one quant quantized version that is only 100 megabytes or around 110 megabytes, and then an optimized version, uh, which is around uh, 400 megabytes. Um, then we have the PDF processing, where we have an asynchronous worker, the um, async uh, or the consumer group with an instance count of, of one. Um, but we had the, added the capabilities of, of uh, adding multiple consumers into the consumer group if, if, we, if we want to. And um, this just picks up a uh, event of a stream and processes the uh, PDF and stores it in a, in a hash, which is, the, which is indexed by that is search. Um, I, yeah, so you should check out check out the the code on GitHub uh, um, and and play around with it a little bit. So let's go now into demo time. No, 
So in the root folder, you can uh, run an npm start, which will, as discussed before, run all the necessary dependencies, the backend, the frontend, and the um, Redis, Redis modules, which run in, in the Docker containers. And And a web page should load up that, that, that looks like this. So this is the React app that uh, we created. And um, as you can see, it, it offers a, a user registration or user login. And let's start by creating a demo user. So name, no. Uh, put in a nice email, it's, we don't, verify emails actually, so it doesn't matter what email you put in here. And then a nice password. Oh. So now that we have a user, um, Bobby at email.com can log in with the password that we created. This is the app. It greets the user and tells us that we don't have any documents in our library library right now, and uh, thus we cannot, you know, you utilize the query here. But let's start with adding something to our library, so a PDF, and um, let me go and find the open. So let's start with this document and press next what happens now in the background is that this um, pdf gets uploaded to the server but not only uploaded it gets processed it get it we clean it a little bit and um and that's instantaneous because because of uh, the because of redis it's really fast actually to process this pdf and now that we have processed it we can ask ask some or do some queries so obviously, um, CQRS journey guide. Let's start start with something simple. Um, what is the journey about? Um, so let's see what we get. Oh, this took a little bit longer than usual, and the answers that we get is uh, resilience and performance, implementing a complex system conducive conference management system. Um, actually, those two are, are correct. I don't know if you know this document, it's Microsoft you know, document, it's publicly available on the Microsoft website. Um, and um, yeah, the, 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 way, the, way this, uh, the way we implemented this is that in the background, once the user inputs a query, is we send the query first to Redis, uh, Redis search and um, we limit the responses to four. And uh, ready, ready search, of course, uh, we, we use with the BM25 uh, function, relevance function, and it uses keywords. Um, and to find, to find meaningful, meaningful content. So, and that content, then we feed to the AI model with the question and ask the AI model given the returned content from ready search, what is the answer to this question? And as we can see here, given three contents, we received three answers from the AI model. Um, let's ask another question. What is secure? Should be answerable. Uh, yeah. Common query responsibility segregation that makes sense uh, and uh, high score. So, just another one. What is a command in CQRS? See if it finds it. Uh, the first one is not right, but this one sounds about right. So yeah, we see that um, sometimes given um, uh, it, uh, the answers and the score that also depend on the content the <clears throat> AI model receives. And sometimes the answer, uh, uh, the correct answer is scored lower than, than an incorrect answer. 
So let's go back and um, we're not confined to, to actually one PDF in, in uh, we, we index all the PDFs a user uploads. So basically let's add, a, let's try to add another PDF here. It's called uh, effective aggregate design. Again, an open, open PDF that you can find uh, online uh, without a license and um, being about similar to, to the first one. Um, it's around, uh, not around CQRS, but uh, more about uh, domain driven design. So let's ask an obvious question. What is DDD or what does DDD stand for? And let's see if it can answer the question. Um, no, it cannot. And when it cannot answer the query, um, you will receive a, a, a null answer with, with a high score. So let's rephrase that. Maybe it, it is able to find the answer. What is DDD question mark? And let's see if you can find an answer. Should be answerable. An approach to developing software systems. Yeah, sounds about right. Um, the other ones. Well, let me just ask. This question. Let's see. Layered architecture. Nah, yeah. And another thing, last last question. Let's try something difficult. A why question. And obviously having read the PDF, I know the answer to this, but I can see also here, um, and we can see here the power of the combination between Redis search and the AI model. So um, with doing Redis, Redis search only, we, uh, it would find the 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 keywords in the in the index for us, but we would need to answer the question ourselves. But with, with this approach, as you can see here, that we combine both keyword lookup and then natural language, and we get actually actually quite some accurate answers. And yeah, we find this awesome, and uh, hopefully you can take the app for for spin and, and try it yourself and upload some nice. PDFs that you have laying around in your laptop and, and yeah, just, just play around with it a little bit and give us feedback if you like it. See you guys. Thanks for listening and watching. Ciao.